Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. I am really excited about this one because I've tried something new that I've never done before. But before we get to that, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex and I create content about photography, editing, tech and gear reviews, and pretty much anything to help you become a better creator. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content like this. This video is about the OnePlus 9 Pro, and this phone has been out for a couple of months at this point, with numerous software updates that has improved the system stability, battery life, thermals, but most importantly, the camera system. I wanted to go out and test out these cameras to see just how much better they are now that it's been a couple of months. So in this video, I exclusively use the OnePlus 9 Pro as I'm walking around New York City doing some street photography. I've never used a phone as my main camera before. Usually I like to carry my Sony a7 III or my a7R IV. There are a ton of different environments and shooting scenarios from low light in subway stations to outside in the bright midday sun. These challenging conditions will really push the camera system to its limits and see just what it's capable of. I started my photo walk coming out of the subway at Fulton Station in Lower Manhattan. As soon as I came out, I saw the X-shaped lights and they looked so cool, so I tried to frame this shot. The initial composition wasn't what I had envisioned in my mind, so I got down low to the ground and used a horizontal frame instead. Now this one came out much better where you can see the X's more clearly on the ceiling. And that person walking down into the subway was just a finishing touch. I proceed to walk out into the main area of the station to see what I could capture. Immediately, the futuristic architecture caught my attention. There were shiny metals, glass, and reflections everywhere. But in this section, the pools of light was what really caught my eye. I wanted to capture someone walking through the light and ended up with this shot. The size of the person shows the scale of the space and the motion just adds that organic element to such a mechanical and futuristic environment. I proceeded to walk down the stairs and once again noticed another pool of light concentrated on the floor. There was someone standing right in the middle of it, so I quickly pulled out my phone to take this shot. Although the light and dark contrast in this image was interesting, it looked much better in my mind and the final image was not nearly as cool. Now I'm at the bottom of the steps and I walk into the pool of light to photograph this UFO looking window. For this image, I had to use the wide angle lens to be able to capture the entire view. Now this shot has such a unique perspective and I definitely would have missed it if I just had kept walking. After this, I kept walking around to see what else I can capture. I tried again to take a photo of someone walking through the pool of light. You can see all the details in the highlights and the shadows, so the HDR algorithm really worked well. Then I used a wide angle lens to get a different composition. I ended up capturing this shot and it looks kind of like a mechanical eye staring down at you. This was drastically different from the previous image, even though it was in the same spot. So another tip is to try shooting with different angles and experiment with all of the lenses on your phone. I stopped in front of this emergency exit door because the circular decals caught my eye. I moved around and tried to line up this shot where the circular sticker on the glass lined up with the person standing on the other side of the door. It's kind of hard to see, but it's one of those images that make you look twice, which is always a good thing. Now I'm exiting into the central area of the station. And wow, this area is really like being inside of a spaceship. In order to capture everything in the scene, of course I had to use the wide angle lens and I just love the way this image came out. All of these circular lines in this composition draw your eye in and make you look around at the entire photo. Now I'm heading towards the next location. 
The Oculus is another beautiful structure with amazing architecture and design. I'm standing right outside and I use the telephoto lens to zoom in to these two people sitting on the edge of the building. Then I move my phone up and still using the telephoto lens, I take a photo of the curved beams. Now this shot actually came out much better than I thought. It's so abstract with the light and the shadows contrasting perfectly. Moving on, I head into the building. Here I'm on the second level and as I'm looking down, I notice the sun casting these cool shadows onto the floor. Now this first image I took didn't turn out quite the way I expected. I liked the light strips, but there was just way too many things happening in the scene. So I tried again with a different composition and zoomed in so that the light filled the entire frame. Now the second shot of someone pushing their bike was exactly what I wanted. I used the exposure lock setting on my phone to expose for the highlights so that the person is covered in shadow. And in the same spot, I snapped this other image of this person taking a photo. Now this one was even better because she is standing right in the middle where that shadow is. As I'm going down to the first level, I saw this photographer standing under the American flag. I brought the phone down low to get a more dramatic perspective. Their black outfit really pops, contrasting to all of the white surroundings. I walked around them to get a different shot of the flag from the front. And for this composition, I was pretty much standing right under the flag and I angled the phone way up to use a wide angle lens. This was an awesome shot and you can see just how good the freeform lens is at keeping all of the leading lines straight. After the Oculus, I left the area and started exploring the surrounding neighborhoods. As I was walking, this old silver station wagon caught my eye. Since I was so close to the car, I used a wide angle lens to capture more of the scene. And wow, everything just came together. The car was parked on this cobblestone road and the brownstones in the back just completed the image. Then I moved to the front and got down close to the road to take this second shot of this three quarter view. I used the main lens here and I wish it was a bit wider. I used the telephoto lens here to get a tight crop and I really like this composition. I wanted to take another shot, but this car pulled up and blocked the view. But instead I crossed back over to get a closer shot. I captured him right as he was putting the cigarette to his mouth. And being this close to the scene really gives the image a much more intimate feel compared to the telephoto image that I shot earlier. Now this image was shot with the main camera and it really surprised me. Look at all the detail that this lens is able to resolve. Around the corner, I was trying to take another shot of more of these posters when I noticed a guy walking in from the right of the frame. So I held my phone up and was just waiting for him to cross. So you can see just how useful the wide angle lens is for situations like this where there really isn't a lot of room. At the next location, I saw this person riding a bike down the street, so I take a few steps back to let them pass. The gritty background with the graffiti all over the metal doors, the bleached pink hair of the person riding on this black motorbike, it looks like this image was set up, which is why I love street photography, because you never know when you can just capture an image like this by chance. I saw someone else walking towards me, so I waited a second and took another shot. Again, I just love the gritty New York vibes in this image, and it was a great capture to end the photo walk. All right, so that sums up the photo walk. What did you guys think? Which shot was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I had a ton of fun shooting with this phone, and some of the shots really surprised me because as I was out there on the street, I definitely thought I had missed some of those shots, especially with the fast moving subjects. But as I was reviewing the photos, I was really happy that I ended up capturing them. 
So it's clear that after all these updates, the camera performance definitely did improve. OnePlus said that they will continue to push out updates to support this camera system. So I'm really curious to see just how much better it can get. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of these POV style videos. I try to respond to everyone in the comments. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.